In this video I'll show you how to connect and how to use your external hard drive or SSD drive with your Mac Mini M4. So let's get started. Not all uh, formats are compatible with the Mac Mini. I'll put a list on the screen right now because it's easier than to explain you which ones are acceptable and which ones won't be recognized at all by this computer. And by the way, if your drive is not in one of those compatible formats, you'll be able to change that to reformat your drive simply by connecting it and I'll show you how. Now most hard drives are connecting using a USB type A cable connector like this one and the Mac mini only has USB type C ports. There's two things you can do really. One is to get one of these adapters. This one is made by Apple. It's a USB type A to USB type C. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one of these. But what I suggest is instead of buying many of these, because they can get quite expensive if you buy, let's say, five of them, get yourself a USB type C USB hub. This one has over here two uh, USB ports, then a USB type C, and on the other side, another USB A port and SD card slots. But you can have other models with many more ports, which you just need to buy one of these instead of multiple, multiple of those. So I'll connect the hard drive like that. And finally, connect it to one of these USB Type-C ports. It does not matter which one you choose in the front or in the back. If your hard drive needs power, you obviously need to connect it to power as well. Once it's connected, let's go on the screen. First, let me show you how simple it is to transfer files and then I'll show you how to format that hard drive or SSD. So to transfer anything, you need to go into the Finder app. Once you open Finder on the left side, under Locations, you're going to have your hard drive appearing. Click on it and the content will be shown over here. You can now transfer any files from the Mac to this SSD or from this SSD to the Mac simply by selecting, right click, then copy and then paste in whatever folder of the Mac you want. If you don't have a right click, simply select and then go on the top left corner, click edit, copy, then uh, let's go over here in documents, edit and then paste. So this is how you transfer files. Now to format this hard drive, you need to go over here where you see the magnifying glass on the top right corner and you need to type disk utility. Disk and usually simply by typing the first letter you're gonna see it. Click on it. Disk utility will open and now on the left side you're gonna see your drive. Once you have selected your drive, you're going to click Erase. Make sure you have backup whatever was on it because everything will be deleted forever. Over here you can rename it and under Format you can format it in something else or maybe the same thing that it was before. If you intend to use your hard drive or SSD drive with your Mac and also a Windows computer, I always suggest you choose XFAT. Once you have selected this, click Erase and usually in only a few seconds it will be done. Before uh, removing the drive from the Mac, you need to go and click this small icon. Or if you are on your desktop, you should see your drive and you need to drag it in the garbage bin down below. It takes a few seconds, it will disappear. You may get this message if the drive is used in another program. In this case, you can always select force eject, force eject, and it will be ejected anyway. So after doing this, you can go ahead and disconnect it from your Mac. I mean, you can disconnect the um, whole hub or just the drive. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Please type a comment down below, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video.